Hello everyone, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve iPad app short tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how you can easily get a screenshot from your timeline so you can use whatever you want. So right here I have a video clip on my timeline and let's say that I want to get a screenshot from this uh, part of the video so I can use it for my YouTube thumbnail for example. Well, there are a few ways you can do that and uh, let me just show you. So one way you could do is just go here into the full screen and just get a screenshot using the tools that your iPad allows you to do. And then you just have to do some readjustments to your uh, screenshot and you're good to go. But honestly, the quality of it cannot be that good. For most cases it can be uh, done, but if you want to use, for example, that screenshot into your timeline, uh, you may want to have a better quality screenshot. So let's go back and uh, let's see other ways that you can do it. If we were using the DaVinci Resolve computer version, to get the screenshot would be really easy. You just would have to go to the uh, color page and here you'd go and you'd grab a still and then you just would select it and say export. With that, it would open a new menu and uh, with a JPEG file already created, you could just save it wherever you would wish. But here in the iPad, when you select export, it does not create a JPEG file. It will create two different files, but none of them will be a JPEG. So if you want to do some work with it, it's quite difficult. So there's another way that you can use to export a JPEG file. At least it used to be uh, another way. You would need to go to the Fairlight page and here you would say save image. And this would create a way of exporting a JPEG file. But for some reason, if you navigate here, there's no way to get a, a bin where you can put it and then you can uh, just go and get it. So what can you do? Well, there's another way to do it. And I think that's the one that really works quite well right now. But you need to have the final version of the DaVinci Resolve iPad app uh, installed, the 18.5 version. And you need to have the export tab opened. Okay, so here, what I just have to do is create an in and out point. Let's say that I want to export uh, this image here. I just press I and go up a frame, and now an out point. Okay, it may look uh, that I don't have that much, but I have here now, uh, as, I, as you can see here, the only part that I want to export. And now I need to do this. Here in the export format, I'm just gonna select, not a QuickTime, but a JPEG, okay? I had to the render queue, select the place where I want to export it to and now render and it's done. To find the JPEG files that you just created, you just have to go to the folder where you just exported it and look at here, it's here and you can now use it to work with it. Uh, I just would advise you that if you want to use it uh, on a, uh, let's say, edit uh, photo app like Affinity Photo or Lightroom, I would advise you to just uh, share these to the save image so you can properly use it. Because in some apps, if you try to import it from directly from this uh, file folder, you'll not be able to do it. So guys, hope you found this video useful. See you at my next video.